A working list of things I will never tell you. When I said I wasn't with another girl the January after we fell in love for the third time, it's because it wasn't actual sex. In the February that began our radio silence, it was actual sex. I hate the tight shirts that go below your waistline. Not only do they make you look too young, but then your torso is a giraffe's neck attached to tiny legs. I screamed at myself in the subway for writing poems about you still. I made a scene. I think about you almost each morning, and roughly every five days I still believe you're there. I still masturbate to you. When we got really bad, I would put another coat of mop water on the floor of the bar to make sure you were asleep when I got to my side of the bed. You are the only person to whom I've lied, knowing I was telling the truth. I miss the way your neck wraps around my face like a cave we are both lost in. I remember when you said being with me is like being alone with company. My friend Sarah wrote a poem about pink pony. I'm scared you're my pink pony. Hers is dead. It is really sad. You're not dead. You live in Ohio, or Washington, or wherever. You are a shadow my body leaves on other girls. I have a growing queue of things I know will make you laugh, and I don't know where to put them. I mourn like you're dead. If you had asked me to stay, I would not have said no. It would never mean yes. All right. Oh.